Space geodesy has taught us the true shape of our planet, where it flattens, how much it bulges. With these results, we are better able to map the Earth and to navigate. The orbital path of a satellite is not a perfect circle. The satellite weaves sideways and up and down as it travels its course around the Earth. These deviations are measured only in feet, but they can be detected by Earth-based tracking stations and reveal new facts about the Earth's structure. Satellites have been tracked by laser. After predicting where spacecraft will be at any given time, telescope-mounted lasers swing into position, and aided by computers, their pulses of light lock on and track the orbiting craft. Three of NASA's Explorer satellites carried special reflectors that mirrored the laser light flashes. The positions of the satellites were precisely determined, and the distance calculated simply by measuring the time it takes the beam to go to the satellite and return. Precision in satellite tracking leads to precision in terrestrial map making. The Department of Interior estimates that the value of up-to-date topographic maps is worth nearly $700 million annually to our national economy. On the North American continent, surveyors have laid out a grid enabling them to locate any point with respect to another within 30 feet. There are similar grids in other well-developed countries but they are not tied together. A surveyor cannot see over the ocean with his transit to make the connections. But a satellite can. It is a valuable tool because of its altitude. Observers several thousands of miles apart can see a high-flying satellite at the same time. By making simultaneous measurements with optical and radio tracking instruments, they can determine just how far apart they really are. The current goal of satellite geodesy is to tie all geodetic grids together to within an accuracy of 30 feet. Using high-flying satellites as geodetic markers, the world's continents will eventually be tied together to one common reference system. 